Welcome to the No Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the Guy. I'm working on a Bianchi right now, which has a very rough bottom bracket. Needs to be replaced. These guys were uh, a cartridge system, which a lot of them are nowadays, and this is the, the pre-cartridge uh, when they first started coming out as mass production, which was great because it was easy just to switch them out. And it didn't damage your crank set or anything if they started wearing out and that kind of deal. They just kind of just did their thing and blew up and then you just get a, a new one and you put it in there. But they had several different sizes and I don't know, I'm an excuse I had to order as a service manager, but back in the day, you know, who swapped these out. I have one off of another bike that is actually still really good condition considering how old it was. Um, same make and the same size and diameter. So road bike bottom bracket shells are usually a 68. 73 is like the 72, 73 is like the mountain bike sizing. So this is a 68 and a 109.5, which is for the uh, 105 or El Tegra crank sets. So when you're looking at those, that's where you're looking at the measurements. 68 shell, spindle length, and also thread pitch. There's English and there's also Italian, so if you have a really foreign European bike, you might want to double check if it's not, they're using European threads, but the English threading is on most bikes, so good chances if you're in the States and you have a, a normal, uh, uh, I don't want to say normal, <laughs> a more common brand name, these should be just fine. So to take these off, on the opposite side here, we have a, a lock ring on this, and we'll flip it over and show you. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles. Hanging out with the guy. Hi, I'm Justin the guy. Obviously, I have a garage shop. Taking scary how to use bikes one bike at a time. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. So we're looking at this lock ring on this side here. This is the Park Tool, I think it's called a BBT32, but it fits these old styles. And that's where a bottom bracket tool, there's gonna be several different ones over the ages. This is the one that fits that particular year, which they have Quite a few of them so you want to get this on here and flush and kind of the same concept is tightening is backwards loosening is forced because these are reverse threads so if you're going forward pedal stroke that's to loosen and this one was a little bit tighter on there this is after me breaking it loose but that's how that comes out And they shouldn't be this loose when you take it off. But you can tell it's grimy and dirty right off the bat. So that's the old one on the left side, non-drive side. So back again on the drive side, same thing. It's going to go forward. So the newer bottom brackets are usually a cup or a bearing. So you don't have to thread in at all. But uh, the cup ones, uh, the external bearing ones, will have little arrows. that will show you what direction you need to go. And again, it's forward. So... And there's your old dirty bottom bracket. So while we're here, I'm gonna pull out all the gunk. If you have anything rattling in your frame you wanna try to get out, um, this is the time to do it. This is, most of the crap goes to the bottom. The weirdest thing I've found in a bottom bracket was a bee, a dead bee, which is bizarre. Thank goodness it was dead or it was wigged out. Now that would have been something to see. I'm gonna put some degreaser on there to clean those threads up. You don't want to shoot anything in there directly because it can drain as you know if, if it was a degreaser. Mainly to the head tube area or drain back into the bottom bracket area. You don't want to compromise those bearings. So we got this guy pretty cleaned up. And always good to put a little bit of grease on these threads. So the poor, the next person that works on this, it won't be um, difficult to take off. So using the same tool, but now instead of going forward, I'm going backwards, like pedaling backwards to tighten pedals. Kind of the same concept. Get that on there tight. They do make these tools with a handle too. I opt this one because it has a um, 
I can use a crescent wrench and also a uh, kind of a lock ring if I need to hold it in place while I'm tightening or loosening. So you want these tight, but you don't want to like go completely super tight, but nothing, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, so much better, so much smoother. This is going to make a world of difference to the ride because it's one of those drag points on a bike that you don't know until you actually take it apart. And once you take it apart, you're like, oh, that makes it a lot smoother. And if you measure wattage, that'd be a pretty big, huge difference. On to the other side. Same concept here. I like to put a little bit of grease. Not a lot. It does have a shim in there, but just to make things meld together a lot better. It's always nice. Get this, and there's also a tool that fits over on top of this, um, but you can't do the other side, so it's only a one-sided deal. So, hold that in place as I tighten this up. And this one, I'm actually upgrading it to a BB6500 versus a 5500. So it's a 105 model to a Ultegra model. The only difference you'll notice is the weight, really. A lot smoother versus it just seems to, this will definitely have a, a smoother ride after all that. So to recap, got both sides really tight on there. This one's super smooth. I'll put a little, a little bit of grease on these when I put the crank sets on and also the, the cable guide. But what we're looking at, what we did replace is this guy here. It's a, a BB, actually it is a 650, uh, BB 650. Um, so yeah, it was just dirty and worn out kind of thing. And it, when it, it's not supposed to kind of like act like this once a spin. Um, that's where it's like the grease has been compromised. It didn't seem loose by any means, but definitely not as secure and as like, yeah, smooth on this one here. So we're good. So yeah, there we go. Do BB, ready for another thousand miles. <laughs> if you like videos like, this, videos like this, please subscribe. Um, thank you for spending time with me in the garage and hope you have a wonderful day. From the garage.